my name is Leo from TL Lab. Today we are on science picnic in Zagreb. My host today will be Nevin Soj, Doctor of Science from Ruger Boschkovic Institute. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Soj, can you please tell us something about this device? Yeah, here we have a uh, demonstrator on cosmic rays, the, the very energetic particles which heat the Earth from all, from all directions from cosmos. So, uh, the origin of these uh, very high energetic particles is not exactly known yet, but we expect that uh, the main source are uh, supernova explosions, and uh, this matter which is then ejected, mainly the protons, uh, uh, alpha particles, uh, electrons, and some of the heavy nuclei, are additionally accelerated in a galactic magnetic and electric field or in the fields which are between the intergalactic uh, regions. So, uh, what we know that the energy of this particle is extremely high, it's, uh, it's very close to the speed of light. And uh, with such particles hit the atmosphere, so it uh, collide with the, with the nuclei in the oxygen and uh, nitrogen atoms and produce the new particle, the secondary particle, shower of particles, which can produce thousands to millions of uh, particles, some of them with a very short uh, lifetime. So not only these three, which are basic and which, uh, which build up all the meta, which we know, so that's the electron and the uh, first uh, two quarks, top and down, which uh, make uh, proton and neutron, but also these stra strange quarks and neutrons and down. So this particle have a very short lifetime and most of them decay in the Earth, travel into the, to the surface of the Earth. Only you can survive and actually reach the, the surface of the Earth. So here we have a, a spark chamber that's uh, one uh, detector for the F, for the, any type of charged particles, but in this case, in this very case, it's now detecting the uh, muons produced by cosmic rays in the upper parts of the atmosphere. So, uh, detector, uh, detector is uh, uh, filled with a gas uh, 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 in which particle, charged particle uh, ionize uh, the atoms and uh, it's on the high voltage, some 4 kilovolts. So when charged particle uh, is uh, traveling, it's in this ionization it makes the, the uh, path for sparks. So you can see, this osmium is uh, traveling to the chamber, you see the spark which follows its trajectory. So the, as you see, we, we, we see, we see the particle every uh, few seconds, so actually the, the flow of the, uh, the neons from the produced uh, by cosmic rays is something like uh, between 2 and 10 particles per second per meter square. So in this, and this detector is one very simple, actually it was the first type uh, uh, produced at the beginning of the 12th century. And uh, Austrian physicist Hess, who, who built it, uh, demonstrated that this detector of cosmic rays exists, and for that he won the Nobel Prize in the uh, 1930s. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Soj, for this nice presentation. Thank you.